Alright, so um, I set up this top area. Uh, I don't want to do it, so I'm just going to start uh, and try it out. But yeah, I'm going to be starting with like, the smaller pieces that are not very important. Alright, yeah, so I just um, dove in and tried to um, dye, starting with the black colour. Um, I bought these gloves that um, I realised weren't a very good idea. So the palms of, of the gloves were rubber, but the back side of the glove was just cotton. And so when I eventually messed up and spilled some of the dye onto like the cotton bit, it soaked up the dye and then like held the liquid against my skin. And so it started to burn, so that wasn't a very good idea. Um, I definitely should have gotten either a full rubber one or maybe even a latex one would work, but I don't know. I'm not very sure. But yeah, so uh, as for the black coat, it was quite easy, just covering everything in black. I wasn't very worried about it being um, patchy or inconsistent. But as I continued um, just like having to press the, the cloth into the wood, I, my right hand got tired, so I tried changing my hand to my left side and then essentially this is what happened. Oh. Yeah, so <laughs> I guess my left hand hand-eye coordination was really shit. Yeah, so when you saw me like move towards the camera, that was me um, trying to dunk my hand in, in water. But since the dye was oil-based, it really didn't do anything. But it felt a bit better, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so this is me just like finishing um, the, the first coat of black. Uh, and yeah. Here's after one coat of dye. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and do a second coat. I'm not very sure whether there's something I'm supposed to be doing, but they're not as dark as I thought they would be. Uh, my big board is looking quite patchy, which is a bit disappointing. I mean, I did f*** up. So I'm hoping a second layer would solve that a bit. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. So I think I can do, I can do the dyeing for the pine wood today also. So that's pretty good. So I've just done the second coat for the black dye. They're looking much better now, I think. Or slightly better at least. And the big board isn't as patchy. It has some like quite interesting texture. Um, but I think I'm going to use this side as the bottom because of these like defects. This side is looking a bit better. It's like actually, actually it's on top. Yeah, other than like scratches like these. It's a bit unfortunate. I'm hoping that it's going to be a bit less um, visible once I put on the varnish over everything. I think it was a mistake not to use the giant um, scrap piece of board below my working area because of the tiles under this white tub. It's actually quite sharp at some points. And so it has been cutting into the wood as I'm trying to like apply force and, and apply the dye. I'm going to stop for lunch and then I'm going to continue after lunch. Yeah, this is just me um, dyeing the last piece, which is the work table. For this piece, for this face, right, I started um, by dyeing on one side, and then after that's done, I move on to the other side. So uh, I realized that that gave a, like, a bad result because the center will become patchy. So for the other side, as you can see here, I'm going um, like sh lengthwise, strip by strip, um, to make sure like each um, strip of wood is, is the same color all the way through. Yeah. I really like the colour that I got um, thanks to this dye. I've just completed dyeing all the pieces of wood. Um, the only problem that I faced was the end grain, which absorbed a lot of dye. So you can see here, for this particular side, I put like a lot of dye. But for here, I tried to skimp to try to get the same colour. Uh, I think this is too dark, but that's too light. I can't really get like a good end grain. But for most of them, I can't really see the end grain. So it's not that big of an issue. I only used like half of that dye and they didn't even touch this. So I could have like only bought one because like I wasted like 16 or 17 bucks, which is annoying. The wood seller told me that I needed to. So whatever, that's fine. I think I'm done for today. I'm just gonna let all of them sit here and dry at around maybe like 6 p.m. I'll bring everything upstairs when hopefully it doesn't smell as bad as it does now. So it's Sunday on the 6th of February. Uh, I've just started trying out applying this aqua wood guard. 
Seems like it's a polyurethane. Anyway, I'm supposed to be applying it with like a foam brush, but I don't have that, so I'm using a kitchen sponge. And then I tried it onto the wood that I dyed black. This scrap piece of wood that I've dyed um, this uh, tiny color, and then on some undyed plywood. I think they look okay. I'm not very sure what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna continue. And then if they're all like, screwed, then I don't know, then I'll think about what I'm gonna do next. But yeah, strangely like, the, it's like super watery. I don't know, I didn't expect it to be so watery. All right, so I just applied the, the varnish to the top left and right surfaces. I have not yet done the bottom. Honestly, I think the application has been quite okay. You can see that this reflective sheen that is not present on the underside. So I'm just gonna let it dry. I'm gonna go for lunch. Then after that, I'm gonna come back and, and do the opposite side and, and the ends. I have yet touched the pine boards and the plywood boards. But the only thing that I, I'm not very happy with is I, I didn't expect it to have this like orange red sheen for these like plywood boards that I didn't stain right they're gonna have this like really like orangey shape to them which I'm not a fan of but it's a bit late to, to, to change that now uh, it's now 4.27 I've just finished the first coat for all of the pieces of wood I've sanded it down with 360 grit sandpaper so everything else everything now is like kind of smooth uh, I'm gonna start for today uh, the next time I come back, I'll be putting on the second coat and seeing whether that is sufficient. I've made some mistakes by uh, letting parts of this dry, and especially because of how watery the, the primer is. Sometimes, can you see like there's a bit of a line here where this is like essentially two coats, or this only has one because of like the overspill from doing the top after doing the side or the other way around, or something like that. Okay, sorry, there's no time left today, I just didn't want to set it up. Today is the 10th of February. Uh, I took quite a bit of a break because uh, I've been doing job applications and stuff like that. But I'm back. Um, for I'm intending to finish this project within this week. Today I'm just going to go back and do the second uh, coat. Yeah. Uh, I think for most of the pieces, especially the supports that aren't going to be um, subjected to a lot of stress, right? Or like wear and tear, um, two coats is, is going to be enough. But uh, maybe for like, the surfaces that I'm going to be uh, working with a lot, um, the work table or the computer table and stuff like that, I will do a third coat. Yep, so this is me just wiping everything down um, after the first coat in preparation for the second coat because I, I definitely don't want any um, random sawdust or, or dirt uh, adhered to the pieces before I coat them again. So, yeah. So you can see this is how I applied um, the coat uh, for the first pass I'll go on the top left and right side and then let it to dry, space them apart and then after I'm done with everything I'll go back with the underside and the ends. Uh, yeah I really didn't have a lot of space to work with so I was kind of like cramped um, trying to keep everything apart but also um, together so I have as much working space as I, as I have. Um, but yeah, as you can see, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to like compact everything so I have more space to work on the boards. But yeah, so this is me just wiping everything down before uh, applying the second coat. Alright, today is the 11th of February. Um, what I did today was that I just used up all of my varnish doing a third coat on most of the surfaces. After this dries, that will be all of the painting or varnishing that I'll need to do. Then I can finally remove the construction tub and do the final step of constructing the actual table.